this episode of 18 Kids in County. Yeah! They're excited because we're going to broom ball. We've been invited to the Springdale Naturals baseball game. Can I have 20 hot dogs? We had fun at the baseball field. That's American Way. This is the story of my family. That's me, I'm Michelle. There's Jim Bob, my wonderful husband. And our children, Josh, Jana, John David, Jill, Jessa, Ginger, Joseph, Josiah, Joanna, Jedediah, Jeremiah, Jason, James, Justin, Jackson, Johanna, Jennifer, and Jordan. If you lost count, that's a grand total of 18. And yes, I delivered every one of them. We're not your typical family, and most everything we do, from work to play, is just a little bit different. It isn't always easy, but somehow we make it all work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna eat supper and then we're gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna head off to Broom Ball, okay? If y'all enjoy eating, because when you get a little older, you'll get the middle age spread, you won't be able to do it. With as many children as we have in our household, it is important that we kill bacteria, especially on the floors, where little ones are playing and feet and hands and, and all are, are down there, especially because they follow us a lot when we're cleaning and working. Yeah! They don't know uh, not to touch things and put their hands all over. They just do that. Who's the most notorious for like running through while you guys are cleaning? <laughs> Mr. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Broom ball. My favorite sport, broom ball. Broom ball is kind of like a poor man's hockey. You actually wear your tennis shoes out on the ice hockey rink, and you have a wooden or aluminum stick that has this wedge shaped piece of plastic on the end, and you hit this rubber ball back and forth into the hockey nets. Your gum will conveniently disappear until you get some work done. Go and put the chairs away, and then when you're finished, you can come back to Mommy and I'll give you your gun. It's about every 30 minutes. We have a major crisis at our house. If it's not like a serious owie, usually just a little bit of tender loving care and comfort usually will help them to get over it. Did you bump your head with the stool? Yes. When it's broom ball yes. day, they are asking, is it time to go? Is it time to go? Is it time to go? Is it? Let's go, hurry, don't be late. Here we go. Here, look this. Hey, I've got all the broom ball essentials. I've got knee pads and shin guards. We're ready to go. Let's go, guys. Typically, our family does broom ball every Friday and Saturday night at the Jones Center, but then also we play basketball and soccer and capture the flag and a lot of games out in the yard. There's two goals, and the object of the game is to get the ball in the goal. Sometimes we uh, we don't actually play by the rules, so we like we'll probably put two balls out. That way, everybody gets a chance to play. Is it a little difficult to do these athletic endeavors in a skirt? Um, sort of, but not really. I mean, we've always done everything in a skirt, so it's not really hard. Also, we don't do the icing rules where you can hit it as far as you want, as hard as you want. First I thought my feet weren't gonna get cold, but now they sort of are. I'm sure to wear 
pour something else. <laughs> we usually will have the little ones play first, and so they get their opportunity to get their energy out, and then the big boys get out to play, the big girls and boys. Now this is the big boys playing, full contact. Uh, we play like hockey without pads. The ball, thankfully, is a softer ball, but when it hits you going pretty fast, it hurts. I really haven't seen our children like get frustrated over losing a game or something like that. It's like they've got a very good perspective on sports and realizing that you know, a week later it's not going to matter. And so just have a good time, enjoy it. Don't take it too serious, but just enjoy playing the game. Coming up next on 18 Kids and County. Ready to go to the ball game? Yeah. Do you know who Babe Ruth is? Ultimate Frisbee is my favorite sport. Yes, Hockey. Baseball would probably be at the bottom of my list. It's uh, not my typical morning routine as far as having to get up this early, but normally I can sleep in about another hour, but you have to squeeze a doctor's appointment in, so. This is a, just a routine checkup pretty much that Anna has to do um, every so often. And uh, the doctor checks what she needs to check to make sure the baby's healthy. Anna's sister Susanna is staying with us for the summer. Um, of course, she's from Florida. And so uh, she's been up, it's been, it's been a great help. Uh, I've enjoyed her cooking. She's just like a great person. I think she's fun and uh, just looking forward to, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun time together with her this summer. Anna is uh, 18 weeks long, and um, everything is going well so far. Um, she's starting to actually feel the baby kick a little bit now. You know, even being the oldest of 18 children, you don't you don't learn all the, the pregnancy and all that kind of stuff as much just because you don't pay attention to it. But uh, you know, I've been around enough ultrasounds and those kind of things. But I think that the, uh, the questions that I mainly have is just how I can help Anna and make sure that. I'm doing everything that I can do to help her. Hello. How's it going? Good. 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 It really helped um, to start thinking more in the direction of girl and trying to think of what name we would be comfortable with and what name we really thought would be special for our little daughter. Babies have like favorite sides because most of the movement I feel on my right side. Okay, so I was just wondering. We started looking at it and my cousin is named Mackenzie and she spells it differently but uh, we went to her wedding and we were talking about her name and I was just like, that's really a cool name. Do you like that, sweetie? And she's like, yeah, we do. And so after all the deliberations and everything, we finally decided on Mackenzie Renee. And Mackenzie, of course, we kind of drew that from my cousin. And then Renee is Anna's middle name. I think if you just in general try to eat healthy and make good choices, you're going to be fine. Main thing is to eat five or six times a day. You know, Still? Yes, throughout the whole pregnancy. Oh, okay. Most women feel pretty good in the second trimester. Their nausea is better usually by that point, and they're not so big, they're uncomfortable all the time. So this is the part of the pregnancy that most people enjoy. We've been invited to the Springdale Naturals baseball game, and this is a new team that they're going to play tonight. I've never been to any kind of game like that. I heard we're going to be down on the field at some point, so it'll be exciting to see how that will turn out. What's your favorite sport? Ultimate Frisbee is my favorite sport. Hockey. Hockey. Baseball would probably be at the bottom of my list. <laughs> Kickball, probably. Growing up, and like through junior high and high school, I played basketball. I usually sit on the bench. 
and uh, our team wasn't that great. I was involved in a lot of sports growing up and in school, and my senior year in high school, I was in cheerleading. Do you know who Babe Ruth is? Who is she? She. <laughs> he. <laughs> she or he? Who is it? Mm, Babe Ruth is the lady that is writing us, maybe? She plays football. He was a very good baseball player. He just looked up on the dictionary. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Why is it that your kids don't play organized sports or go to sporting events? A lot of times families that have like two or three children are signing their children up for two or three different sports and they're busy running around going to practices, to games, and, and it's just constantly a circus getting to everything. You ready to go to the ball game? Our kids don't feel like they're missing out because we have so many activities to keep us busy. I don't know how we'd work something else in. I think the natural team has some activities lined up for our family, so we're going to have a great time. Hi, Amanda. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Erin. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet We are at Arvest Ballpark in Springdale, Arkansas for the Tulsa Drillers and our home team, Northwest Arkansas Naturals Games Night. And luckily, the Duggar family came out and joined us. And it's a perfect evening for strawberry shortcake and baseball. We have all different types of on-field games. Uh, the first one we have is musical chairs. A spelling challenge, a tricycle race. Jana, do you want to do the trike race with Mom and I? So we'll see what happens there. Uh, who wants to go to the batting cages? Oh. <laughs> the Duggars are going to be throwing out a first pitch. They do an excellent job of making it fun for the spectators. You want to go to the batting cages? They took us down to the practice pitching area. They let us go underground where they usually do it when it's raining. Watch out, you might be fat. Whoa. I hit the baseball and daddy moved out of the way. It was really fun. Okay, here you go, here you go, ready? Hey, first try. Okay, here we go, ready? here we go. Girls can play baseball if they want to. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michelle, I don't think I'll ever be a professional baseball player. That's okay, honey. You're batting a thousand with me anyway. <laughs> the Duggars are going to be throwing out a first pitch. It's um, usually held for pretty important people, so we're glad that they have decided to do that with us. We're going to try to have every single one of them throw a first pitch, even the little kids. Okay, folks, can I have your attention, please, real quick? We have a family here from Northwest Arkansas. You may recognize them. They're the Duggars. They're from here in Northwest Arkansas, Springdale, Tawny Town area. And uh, we want to welcome them all here. They're, there's a huge group of them. We've got 18 kids and counting, right? And they're all here to throw out the first pitch, all right? You guys ready to cheer them on? Three, two, one. All right. Give them a hand. They did a great job. It was a lot of fun just watching the, the whole process. And I was trying to explain to him how baseball works and, and making sure, especially all the girls knew the rules. and and what the players could do, what they couldn't do. and What they're doing is the pitcher throws the ball. This guy hitting the ball, hits it. If it's, if it's right above the base right there, he hits the ball. If it's not above the base, then it's a, it's a, a foul ball. So he doesn't have to hit it. If he gets four fouls, he, or no, if he gets, uh, actually it's just called a ball. Wow, look at that hit. That's probably a home run, won't you? That is way out there. I 
think they do an excellent job of making it fun for the spectators. I'm down here with Justin. 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 The Natural Stadium does a very good job of keeping it going with all kinds of activities that they involve people in during the, the in between the innings. <laughs> oh, oh, it's really close. I think Jill and Jackson are out. Give them a hand. They did a great job. We're down to two chairs. And so they allowed our children to go down and be involved in all kinds of fun activities. Guys, I'm getting hungry. How about a hot dog? Does that sound good? Yeah. Come on, I'll go buy you one. Let's go. Hi. Hey, uh, can I have 20 hot dogs? Yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Three Mountain Dews, 10 Pepsis, two root beers, and Orange Crush. That's American Way. Baseball and hot dogs go hand in hand. All of our children are very competitive. They all love winning. I haven't rode a tricycle in 40 years. We are at Arvest Ballpark and we're about to do the Dizzy Bat Race. I think one of the funnest things the whole evening was Michelle and myself and Joy did a tricycle race. Well, I'll tell you what, I haven't rode a tricycle since I was probably three years old, so I've been 40 years. Now, Joy's rode one a lot more recent than the rest of us, so she's probably got an advantage. Or if there's a weight limit on these things. For me, not for you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Joy's probably got the advantage. All of our children are very competitive. They all love winning, they all love trying to win, but ultimately it really doesn't matter who wins, we're just having a good time. <laughs> we would sign these soft toy baseball things and we would all get thrown down like at the very end of the game. All the children love going to the game and watching the game and uh, even though we end up losing that night, it was a lot of fun. So it's root, root, root for the Hey, Duggars, let's all work, pick up all the cups, clean up everything, okay? Our kids can make a mess in a hurry, and they can also clean up a mess in a hurry. Our goal is to leave a place better than we found it, but it doesn't always happen. Bye. Bye. But we're winners, we know. <laughs> I think 
think the night went really well. The Duggars seemed to have a good time, and we really enjoyed hosting them. Um, it was great to meet them, and we hope that they can come back again next season. Amanda and Aaron, thank you so much for having us here tonight. Thank you. 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 Everyone loved having, all of our fans loved having the Duggars here, and I would wish they'd come back every game. The Naturals did not win tonight. It was 5-4, to four, but uh, the Tulsa Drillers beat them out. Uh, but I know how they feel because I got beat out in the tricycle race. The game, it was really fun, even though we lost. <laughs> You're pretty fast on a tricycle. I haven't rode a tricycle in 40 years. 39 for me, so. <laughs> Whereas Joy beat us both out. That's right, yeah. but it was fun. <laughs> Let's go home. I think the naturals are a natural. It was a great, great time. We had fun at the baseball field. Two, three.